up everybody back at it again with another car review today I actually have a really sick car right behind me is a Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS and with the AMG GTS I think some things go unseen and what I mean by that is this car is majorly undervalued for what it is why because people pick the 911 and the Jaguar F-Type over this but they're actually missing out on a lot now I'm gonna hit you guys with some history in the making of this car, this was supposed to be a 911 fighter. Why? Because the 911 is dubbed as the best all-around car you can have, the best sports car you can buy for the money. And I think Mercedes really nailed it with this one. No, gone is unfortunately the naturally aspirated engines. But what we do have under the hood is a four liter twin turbo V8 pushing out 503 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. 0 to 60 happens in about 3.5 seconds and this car just rockets back. Now during the build of this car, Mercedes said that it was going to be one of the most beautiful cars they have ever made. You know what, I'll give it to them. This one is very beautiful, it is a masterpiece that they've made. I think that the most beautiful Mercedes is the SL300, but this is a close second. Now we're moving on to the interior. So what I actually really like about this car is that it has its own styling cue. And what I mean by that is this isn't shared with any other model. This is on its own. It doesn't look like a C-Class, S-Class, or E-Class. This is specifically for the GTs. And I think that just brings back how Mercedes and BMW were as well, where everything sort of had its own characteristic and persona to itself instead of all being the same. This is such a comfortable cabin. These are bucket seats. They do hug you in well, especially when you're coming around corners. I do see a problem. If you're gonna be a bigger person, I'm at 5'7", I weigh 150 pounds. So for me, it's easy. What I also love about Mercedes is that they're not afraid to change the interiors a bit. They're not afraid to take a chance and see what they can create. And this is just a whole nother level from the previous generations that they came from. So that's a bit of a quick overview of the car. Overall, I'm impressed with it. I think this can be such a great competitor with the 911. Now, for the most important part of this video, we gotta take it out and drive it. Because what's a car if you don't know how it drives, right? So let's go. And away we go. Oh, this feels great. <laughs> oh, this is definitely worth the money. You know, I have the car in Sport Plus mode, but I can't really feel the road, like the bumpiness of it. The suspension works great as I'm coming down the sill and feeling the corners. It just turns nicely. There is, there's no body roll in here. <laughs> And then when I downshift, it pops and it makes the right noises. Oh, squirrel! Let's not paint the car any more red than it already is. The paddle shifters feel great. They feel as expensive as the car. Nothing feels cheap in here. And you really are getting a lot of bang for your buck. I know I said that in the other video. But when you're looking into a car, you really want to know that you're getting your money's worth. And this in no way, shape, or form feels cheap. And I am a Porsche fan, I really am. I love them. I hope to own one one day. But this car just makes me forget. <laughs> just listen to it. something that is 
very misconceived about this car and misunderstood is that this is not a direct replacement for the SLS AMG. That car was on a segment of its own and a higher division. This car was supposed to be a baby SLS, like I said, to compete with the 911s, the Jaguar F-Type and Maserati, maybe some other cars I'm not naming right now. But nonetheless, this is a great car to drive around every day, more so than the SLS because of the gold wing doors. These have the regular conventional doors. But what I do love is that they did take a bit of a styling cue from the SLS and gave it that long hood. Oh man, looking over it, <laughs> I think if you're not used to it, you're, you're gonna have to drive this car around a bit. But it's not, it's not intimidating to drive thinking you're gonna get so close because you can see over the hood and where it stops. Just for me, I have not had a car, I've not driven a car that's had a, a hood this long. Man, the suspension feels really good. <laughs> Even in Sport Plus mode. The steering input is so precise. It doesn't feel like there's no communication. I can feel the road within my steering input. I feel connected to the car. This does drive way different than all the other Mercedes. This is definitely a car you can take everywhere, whether the grocery store, you wanna take it to the canyons, you wanna take it for a road trip. This is a GT car. This is meant to be cruised around with, this is meant to go far places. And I think it's doing that so well. You will need to stop because these bucket seats, they do have a lot of padding, but they can get tiresome on you. Also, this car is equipped with the Burmeister audio system and it sounds delicious. just in awe with this car this is so I, I can't even put into words <laughs> I really can't because this car it's definitely underrated and I, I don't know why this is just as good as the others if not better it did win Motor Trends car of the year and driving it, I see why. I may not be ripping it through the canyons because, I mean, I can't. Again, this is not my car. But just driving around these roads, there's some twisty hills I went through earlier. It feels like a sports car, but it feels like an everyday sports car. Not something you tuck away and you only take it out for Sundays. This is something you can live with. And there's not a compromise. It's not so low that you're gonna be worried every time that you're gonna scrape. It looks good, it sounds good, it performs great. It's got enough ergonomics and high quality material in here. You're never rethinking this car. You're never thinking, should I have gotten it? Should I have gotten something else? Or should I just enjoy the ride? Now I'm gonna take the ladder and I'm gonna enjoy this ride. And those pops. <laughs> I don't wanna give it back. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you guys so much for watching. Unfortunately, I do have to give the car back. I had a lot of fun in it. This this car needs to be seen more and praised more. The AMG GTR is coming out and it's going to be a great competitor with the GT3 RS and with the new cars coming around coming around. Maybe it might be as good as a competitor to compete with the 911 GT2 RS. I'm just overall I'm so impressed with this car. This is such a daily driver. This this is the recipe I think Mercedes-Benz knocked out of the park to go head to head with Porsche. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe the video and I hope to do a lot more of these and I'll see you guys next video. Thanks.